Okay, welcome back everyone, Mark Sajan again, and uh, there's a typical error message uh, you may receive when you start your rendering, and this is about missing map coordinates. Now, when you have used a texture that has, when you have used a material that has a texture, and you have no UV coordinates, this is the moment when this dialog comes up, this warning. Okay, because you have a map, but you have no mapping coordinate. So, to solve this problem, you can memorize or pick a name, just circle 001, that will be our first. So, let me hit on cancel, I don't want to render. And the easiest way to find the object is to press H and uh, type in here that we are looking for circle and 001. And when you hit enter, because there's only one, it was like only that one item. And here we go. This is our model. So let me rename this to panel. It's easier to identify. And uh, we can isolate all Q perspective and zoom in F4 to see the edges. Okay. And what we do need is we have to apply a UV map coordinate. Uh, by uh, adding the UVW map modifier. So I will switch it to box. And usually, if you have a kind of a square texture and you want to stretch it fairly uniformly, the best way to do it is to make it somewhat box sized. Okay? So I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not super accurate. Uh, actually, I don't know what material on this, uh, what material is on this panel. Uh, I'm just fixing the problem that the UV map is missing. Okay, so let me leave isolation mode and uh, switch back to camera F9 to quick render uh, and line 15 and line 14 are also troubles. So these are next to each other. So let me line line 15, line 14 will be the first, 0, 0, 0, 14, so this is why it was missing, enter, and uh, uh, the object is selected within a group, okay, so sometimes it is confusing, so let me isolate, alt Q, I know it is a group, because it, the, the name is uh, printed in bold, zoom in, ah, I don't want to rename this, bars okay zoom in and group and open so right now I guess it was a group that has only a single element so instead of opening this up let me close this back on and ungroup okay and now I have this model line 0, 0, 014 and uh, the only thing I will do I don't want to apply a UV uh, map uh, like a modifier, here we have an option that's called generate mapping coordinates. This is an automated option. It's usually working pretty well with lines. So um, let me leave the isolation. And we have a number 15, so H and line 15, line 0, 15, enter. And it is on the opposite side. And because it is written in bold here, the line itself, it, it gives me a hint that it is a in the, um, instance to copy. So if I want to, um, for this reason, because it is an instance, uh, I don't have to turn this on again because I guess these two are instances. So if you make one change on here, it will be applied on the instance copy version as well. So let me just ungroup it. All right, so right now we have these two individual. All right, and look for the others. So, sorry, camera, F9, render, waiting for the message. Okay, if you don't want to waste the time and always pressing the render, you can actually create a screenshot of this and open it up as an image, especially if you have plenty of um, quite hard to memorize names. So that would be line 023. 
So line H and line 023. Okay, it's in the stairs. So let me Alt Q isolate, open it up. And uh, this was 019. So I guess these are also instances. Yeah, this is where I see it because it is a, a bold label. And let me turn this on. Probably this side can also have a problem similar to this. Let me turn this on. Okay. This is a, a instance copy, so I don't have to change it. Okay, I'm, I was just checking. Let me uh, select one item, go back here, and close the group, and leave isolation mode. And F9, checking it again, and uh, oh yeah, it's drastically reduced because of the instances. So line 016, H, and line 016, Line 016, here we go, select. Oh yeah, that's the sweep. Now, the sweep modifier, because it is a standard modifier, there is a chance, there's always a chance you have some kind of an option to generate the mapping coordinates. Okay, so here we go, mapping coordinates generated. And we had the last one, and that was a rectangle. Now the rectangle is uh, somewhere here. Just let me check that. So, yep. Rectangle zero 01. Cancel. H. Rectangle zero 01. We have two of these rectangles. Alt Q. Isolate. I guess it's a group. All right. Group. Open. Let me select. Uh, we still have a group within a group. It's absolutely possible. Um, mm -mm -mm. I will do something else. So let me... The group is selected. And uh, let me close this. And let me explode. Okay. And now we have a absolutely independent item. So we don't have a group within a group and generate mapping coordinates that was rectangle 001 and from now let me select this and group and climber all right and leave isolation mode and press c we are in the camera f9 and uh, okay where we are yeah so we have no error message. Okay, so let me cancel this and uh, see what we can fix. So what we can fix is, for example, this area. Okay, because uh, it seems to be that this uh, wooden texture is a little bit stretched out. Now, honestly, I like this idea to using uh, a simple planner map, but it may cause some... Um, challenges because of the orientation of the grain. So for that right now, uh, one of the fastest ways, you can adjust these values all, all day long, but sometimes it is a little bit easier to open up the UV map, select gizmo, and just simply switching to scale. And you can uniformly scale it down, and as you see, it, it will give you the feedback in the viewport. You can even rotate this around, or uh, you can just scale in one direction. So uh, uh, this is quite flexible. I like to use scale a lot. You can also use manipulation. So manipulate uh, also works if you have something. But right now we are just using the scale, the gizmo. And the problem is the orientation is works fine for these wooden planks, uh, like pointing to the, uh, to the tip. But here, uh, these are a little bit odd uh, looking sideways. So uh, one very practical and easy approach to fix uh, things like this is to convert this into an additive of poly. And that way, just collapsing the, the UV map uh, modifier and then switching to polygon levels. Polygon levels. 
where they, where they are. Okay, yeah, it was just missed. Okay, selecting the size. All right, because the orientation here is good. And applying while we have a pending selection. So applying a UV map. Now, this will result in something uh, unique that the UV map is only affecting those polygons that are selected. Okay, because the, the selection was live before we applied the UV map uh, modifier. And uh, just let me walk in the gizmo. And here's a little trick. If you press F2, F2 will show hide this red color of selection. Now this red color of selection is a little bit disturbing when you are adjusting textures and when you on polygons, on selected polygons. So F2 will make it look like you have selected edges only. But no, it is a live polygon selection. It is just a very good help uh, to make it possible that you adjust your texture coordinates. Okay, so scale down, switching to rotation mode, A angle snap is turned on because I want to actually 90 degree rotation performed here. Okay, now it's quite good. Maybe the scale is too small, so let me scale it back up a bit. All right, and here we go, that's it. So now that is a, uh, a little bit better uh, UV. All right, here we go, we have these columns, and uh, actually this comes a little bit stretched out. So what to do? Uh, we can turn on real world map size, that helps sometimes, uh, but real world map size makes it to fairly small okay so you have to have a proper texture that is capable to be used uh, real world map size uh, so in this case we have to make it a little bit more flexible so this is why we are uh, heading back and adding a UV map a standard UV map of course it is a box map and um, we might need to scale it down okay it was I was too harsh on this Probably the orientation is not good because it, the, the grain is horizontal, so we want to alter that. Let me select the Z. Probably if I rotate this, just switch rotation. Okay. 90 degrees, right? And fit. And scale. Which one? Ah, yeah. This is the scale I'm looking for, so something like this. All right, uh, you can actually use only the scales. You can try uh, to switch to a different alignment. Go what works for you, okay? Uh, the other little trick that can speed up your work, once you have a UV map that's fairly good, you can do a drag and drop. So you can drag and drop the modifier itself, and now it is placed on the other columns as well. Okay, uh, so that's it for this quick uh, troubleshooting tutorial uh, with a few tips. So thank you very much and see you next time. Goodbye.